Welcome to a short introduction about NeoFinder. NeoFinder is a digital asset management tool. Ah, okay, what does that mean? NeoFinder knows where all your files are. Photos, movie files, songs, documents, text files, fonts, and so on. Everything. And this amazing software catalogs and manages anything that you can hook up to your Mac. Hard disks, server volumes, USB sticks, SSDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, audio CDs, Dropbox contents, Backblaze, B2, Cloud buckets, and much more. It's all here in your library. Oh, here's an example. You need to find a song named Give a Little Bit by Roger Hodgson, formerly of Supertramp. You can simply type that name into the quick find field over there. There we go. Give a little bit. Hit return. And, oh, voila. Here are the results. As you can see, there are not just songs here, and because NeoFinder will search each and every piece of information it knows, and yeah, that is a lot. Now it would be really cool if we could ask NeoFinder to only show us songs with Give a Little Bit as a song title, and maybe even more just songs recorded by Roger Hodgson as the artist. NeoFinder can do that for you. I've just opened the Find Editor, said, okay, kind is song, then the second parameter will be music and title. Oh yeah, it's already there. Give a little bit. And then the third will be the artist contains Roger Hodgson. There we go. Hit find. That's it. And there they are. Only songs written by Roger Hodgson, performed by Roger Hodgson, and uh, all kinds of formats that you find that supports. On the right part of the window, you see the inspector. And that inspector shows you all everything that NeoFinder knows about an item, including all metadata. And music isn't really the only part in which NeoFinder is really good. What about photos? We have the entire set of metadata here. EXIF, Adobe XMP, ratings, thumbnails, keywords, everything. And movies, fonts, text files. And of course, everything can also be searched. So. How does NeoFinder work its magic? You need to let NeoFinder catalog every one of your disks once. NeoFinder will quickly gather information about every item of the disk and a lot of additional metadata that makes it easier for you to find. There you have the cataloging preferences. Very important because they decide how fast the cataloging will go and the amount of data that NeoFinder has available later to find your stuff. Set it all up just the way you like it and you need it in your special setup. And then catalog your disks one by one. And as you saw, you could just drag in a volume or a folder and you'll find you will catalog it. You can also use the plus menu near the bottom and uh, there you go, yeah, to catalog the entire volume. And you'll find it will show you all the volumes that are currently attached to your Mac. There they are. Or you can also just catalog only folders, it's possible. What if you have a whole stack of disks? Well, you can use batch cataloging. Connect the disk or insert it, and then let you find a catalog and then eject them. That's pretty easy. So what can you do if you change some files on a cataloged disk? Simply let NeoFinder update its catalog by selecting the catalog and using the update catalog command. Then NeoFinder will quickly go over that disk and pick up all changes that you made. And that's all. This was just an introduction. And NeoFinder can do so much more for you. There is a whole lot of other things that you can do. Uh, the XMP editor, for example, keywords, ratings, everything. And we will soon have more video tutorials for you. And there already is an excellent NeoFinder user's guide and other cool resources in the help menu of NeoFinder. And now, enjoy your amazing disk library manager and NeoFinder. Thank you.